Emptying a urinary drainage bag. This is a skill that you'll actually be performing for your residents who have a catheter. We're emptying the urinary drainage bag into a graduated cylinder to monitor their urinary output. One of the things that you must do in this skill is to make sure that you don't put your gloves on until after you've prepped the area and are ready to begin. Once you have emptied the drainage bag into the graduated cylinder, make sure that you wipe the opening with an uncontaminated antiseptic wipe. Your measurement for the urine should be within 25 cc's of your test observer's reading. Good morning, Ms. Dolly. My name is Katrina. I'm your nursing assistant today. I'm going to empty your urinary drainage bag, but before I do that, let me wash my hands, and I'm going to provide you some privacy. For emptying a urinary drainage bag, the supplies that you'll need are going to be your graduated cylinder. You'll also need a barrier for the graduated cylinder. You'll need alcohol wipes for the drainage too, and then you'll need gloves. We don't put the gloves on until after we've prepped the area and are ready to start. Okay, so we've gotten our supplies. Now we're going to kneel down to empty the urinary drainage bag. You never want to put your knees on the floor or sit on the floor, just kneel on your feet. Okay, so we're gonna place our barrier on the floor under the drainage bag. Also, we have our graduated cylinder, and I'll go ahead and halfway open this alcohol wipe. And sit that on my barrier. Now that I'm ready to start, I can put my gloves on. Okay, there are several different types of drainage bags. This one, there's a silver clamp on it, and there's also another green safety clamp. Some of them just have one clamp. But for this, before we disgage it, we want to make sure that we have it clamped. It's clamped now. We'll take the green part out. Then we'll unclamp the silver part here. At this point, urine will start to flow into the drainage, into the graduated cylinder. We want to make sure we don't touch any part of the cylinder at any time because that's contamination. We're just going to let it drain out until it's completely empty. Okay, now that it's empty, we're going to clamp the silver part, just like that, and we're going to wipe with our antiseptic wipe. We're wiping around the rim and in the tip, and we'll replace it. Now we're going to gather all of our things, including the barrier and our graduated cylinder to take it to the countertop to read it. Okay, so now we have to read our drainage from our catheter. Okay, we're going to read this at 400 cc's of output. We have to read it at eye level, so we've been down to eye level to make sure we're at 400 cc's of output. The bold lines are either going to be hundreds or fifty, so we got 400 here, 450 here. The small lines are increments of 25. At this point, we need to dispose of the urine. Now the urine goes in the bedside commode. If you're testing in a facility that does not have a bedside commode or a commode in the room, you'll let the test observer know that you know where to put it. However, where would she like for you to put it? So at some point, the test observer is either going to tell you to pour it into the sink or she'll dispose of it later. For this purpose, we're going to pour this into the sink. We'll pour this out here. We need to now rinse our equipment. And we're going to dry it. Once we've dried everything, we're going to dispose of our trash in the trash can. Put our towel in our linen hamper. And we're going to replace our equipment onto the shelf. Now that you've replaced the equipment, you can now take your gloves off the same way that you've been taught. Pinch this palm under this glove. We can dispose of these in the trash can. 
Now that we've disposed of our gloves, we can wash our hands and document our urinary output. Remember we had 400 cc's of urine in our cylinder. CC's, and then we're going to sign our name. Provide the resident her call light and leave the room. And you're done.